How much money does YouTube pay me at 3,000 subscribers? My revenue is dropping massively this month and I'm showing you why that's happening to me. Plus, I'm going to share the effect that big changes can have on your YouTube channel. I'm going to show you everything, sharing as many statistics as possible. My Google AdSense payments, my CTR, the click-through rates, and how much cash I'm paid per 1,000 views. Hello, I'm Neil Mossy and I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you to get ideas out of your head and out onto here on YouTube to make the world happier. I believe so strongly that the world is a better place when your videos are out on here along with mine. And to do that, I'm sharing my entire journey and all my mistakes, some of which you're about to see. I think five of my biggest mistakes are coming up. So let's dive straight into my YouTube studio dashboard. There it is. I'm currently on 3,257 subscribers. I'm hoping that will go up by the time you see this. Oh my goodness, look at that summary though. My views are down 32% to about 20,000. That was from nearly 30, 32,000. My watch time is down 40% and my revenue is down by over a third. That figure used to be somewhere between 220 and $250 a month. It's now looking at $120. And this is what February looks like for me. Let's scroll up. February, your channel got 20,000 views and look it is exactly the same as I got one year ago <laughs> to the month in fact I think I've probably got more yeah I got more a year ago and uh, one of my videos went viral and I was monetized in March 2020 that's this big column here 109,000 views and you can see it's just declined in a nice gentle curve <laughs> all the way to the bottom of the year and then it's plummeted from 32,000 in January down to 20,000 but if I click on my estimated revenue now $123 is nothing to be sniffed at I'm very grateful and pleased but it has plummeted from the heady days of November and December last year which is usual I believe but look look how it differs so my views curve down but if I click on the revenue the revenue kind of does the opposite <laughs> it kind of goes up in a hump so my best month was November at $286, $269 for December. That's pretty much because the revenue just drops on Christmas Day. So you've got a whole week there where we're not earning as much money. And then January, there's a drop. But this massive drop here, $210 to 123, give or take a few dollars, it's dropped by half. My revenue has dropped 50% in one month. Now, why is this? There's a very, very simple explanation. And that is these top videos here. I deleted my top five videos. I've niched my channel and to do that I removed 150 videos but what I didn't do was tackle the very top five videos because they were bringing in money and thousands of views. I didn't want to touch those. In January these were my top five videos. At the top is how to get a pack code which is how to move cell phone networks here in the UK. I've got uh, how to recover Zoom files, my reading of the instructions to a valent boiler, which is a, like a central heating contraption, and buying online postage in the UK and best dehumidifier. Now, I was worried that four of those videos don't really link to anything else on my channel. So I was caught in a, in a strange place because these videos are doing really well for me. In one month, those two videos there are getting 4,000 each and the next are getting two, two and 3,000 views. They're also bringing in about $60 in revenue per month. It's not life-changing, but as a proportion of the business that I'm doing on YouTube, this was pretty massive. I mean, this is pretty much a third of my views per month. So at the end of January, I took a very difficult decision to delete them. I removed my <laughs> four of my top five videos. 
I'm one month on and these are my top five now. So my top video is how to recover Zoom video file recordings, which is great. That's still doing 4,000 views. And some others have, have taken their place. So how to change your YouTube channel name are the second and third top rated videos. Uh, how to update the firmware on a Sony ZV-1 camera and how to add subtitles. Those are my top five. They're not getting nearly as many views as my previous top five. But do you know what? I'm still really glad that I made this decision because at least I know when somebody reaches the end of one of these videos, they're more likely to click on one of my other videos. Whereas the dehumidifier video, <laughs> if I've shown you the best dehumidifier, well, that's great, but I don't have anything else on my channel that's even remotely linked to that. But I just, I just, felt that I was sending traffic into a into a blocked dead-end street. <laughs> of course I missed the 60 to 80 dollars but let's go in and see how much these videos are earning me. So this is my top rated video. It's all about how to recover video files when a Zoom call has ended. Now since published this video has earned me 400 dollars which is great but for the last month it has it's earned me 46 dollars and the RPM there hasn't really changed at all. It's averaging at about 11 or 12 dollars per thousand views. And if you're interested, this is my CTR, my click-through rate for this video. It's 6.6 percent. If I change this to since published, the click-through rate is, is a bit higher than, than the average over the last nearly year. Let's look at the click-through rate for my whole channel for this month. So that is 5.3%. So a 6.6% on my top video is, is looking pretty good, yeah? My second new top five video is how to change your YouTube channel name. And this came out in the middle of December. So it's been published for about two and a half months now. And look at that graph go. Since published, the curve upwards, which is looking very healthy. For the last month, let's see how much this video is earning. It looks like $7, $7 a month on 2,000 views, which means that the revenue per thousand views, if I click on the revenue tab, you can see the RPM in the middle here. Per 1,000 views for February, I'm getting $3.47, which is it's lower than, than the average for my channel, which we'll take a look at now. Yeah, the, the average for my channel is $6 per thousand. So although it's the, the second most highest rated video, it's pulling in half the money per thousand views. My third new top rated video is how to change your YouTube channel name. This video came out in the middle of January so it's only been live for about six weeks in which time it's earned three dollars. <laughs> Let's click on the revenue. The RPM is even lower, $2 per thousand views. So although it's one of my top rated videos that's pulling in pretty much the most views, the revenue that I'm getting per thousand views isn't, isn't nearly as good as my channel average. Now I've worked quite hard on the thumbnail for this one. I find the thumbnails really difficult to make anyway, but they're especially difficult when it's just me talking through, like this one, <laughs> where it's me just talking through a screen recording. There isn't that much you can put in a thumbnail. But what, whoa, what I'm astounded by is that the click-through rates, do you remember it was like about five or six percent. My CTR is 11 percent on this video so that might explain why YouTube is offering it more than the others. The watch time is going through the roof but it's a short video it's only a couple of minutes long but because the average view duration is 1 minute 16 let's scroll down to so audience retention yeah look I'm getting nearly 45 percent of that video watched on average so again that's another really good sign to the algorithm except the average view duration is really short. And let's go to my audience retention there. I mean, that explains it right there. Something happens in that video to make the audience plummet. So I'm at about 60% till about halfway through the video, which is great. Let's play the video from here. Setting that we need, it's not entirely super obvious, but this pen icon here, if I click on it, it brings up the name of your YouTube channels. So there, right there, is where the audience go, great, that's why I came to this video, thank you very much, and off they go. And my audience retention just plummets. But it's really good, 
good news that it's getting so many views per month on my channel. That's a surprise that it's gaining 20 subscribers since it was published. That's, that's good for one of my videos in a month. Now my fourth top rated video, I've got good hopes for this because the views have been phenomenal. It's only been live for about three weeks. I published it in the second week of February and it's already got a thousand views. The revenue is uh, $5 and it's $5 per thousand views. Now that can really fluctuate because it's still early days yet but that's a good sign. <laughs> It's picked up 12 subscribers. My average views per viewer is 1.2. That anything more than one is good in my book because it, it indicates that people watching this video watch some other of my other videos. The average view duration is three minutes, which is, again, that's 41%. That's pretty healthy for mine. Obviously, I'd love it to get the viewer retention over 50% for any of my videos. So 41% is a good step in a good direction. And let's look at the click through, the click through rate, 7.2. These are really good statistics for my channel. What I feel I've been vindicated on is that removing those other videos, the dehumidifier and uh, you know, how to change a, a garden trimmer, having those videos gone now to the, another channel, this channel, my tightwad dad, channel i'm just really glad that those videos aren't cluttering up my top five because i can see the videos that i want to concentrate on and the videos that i want to do well it, it really helps not being distracted by these other videos that don't really link to anything else on my channel and my fifth top viewed video is this one how to make subtitles for your youtube video i love how that curve's gone up because there's sort of gentle growth here and now that looks like it's shooting up. It's earned me $9 since I released it in December. Last month it pulled in $3.87. Let's see what the RPM, the RPM's $6, which again, that's, that's healthy. I'm pleased with that. So those are my top five best performing videos this month. Let's go back to just look at the channel overall. I'm hoping that if I can catalog it here, I'll be able to see in time if this changes over the year to see if my channel does improve. My overall reach, for this month is 5.3% on the click-through rates. If I scroll down, down to the, the CTR funnel, yeah, the overall impressions are down 43% because I've removed so many videos from my channel. But for this month, that's a 5.3% click-through rate. If I jump back to December, three months ago, pretty much the same click-through rate, but on so many more impressions, which is why I, I was getting so many more views. The average view duration was 2.55, and in February, it's two minutes, 29 seconds. So my average watch time has, has dropped. Also, if you're interested, if maybe you're comparing my figures with your figures to try and guess how much money you might earn when you become monetized at 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 hours watch time. This is my traffic source table. 41% of my video views come from YouTube search. 30% comes from external. I put my videos on my blog. I've got this strange feeling that linking to my YouTube videos on a on a blog, not just a blog, but it's a Google blog. It's a blogger blog owned by Google. I'm trying out this idea that having a link somewhere else on the internet shows YouTube and Google that my videos might be worth taking a look at in terms of rankability. And I've got a feeling that the 30% external views might be an indication that, that that might be helping. December is on the left and this is what it used to look like. I used to get 39% through YouTube search. That's not changed that much really. It's 41% now. The external has changed. Suggested videos has gone down a lot but I think that's because my overall traffic has gone down. My watch time from subscribers, I know I'm starting from a really low base place <laughs> but back in December only 2% of all my video watch time came from subscribers. In February that's 3.4% which is still tiny and, and a little hint that if these figures are helping why not hit the subscribe button. But after you do that let's just, just consider for a moment that means means my watch time from subscribers has pretty much gone up by over 50%, but way more than 50%. So although my views have gone down, those views are actually coming from people who have visited my channel before. 
this month I'm coming up to the one year anniversary after I got monetized. So this is pretty much my year end revenue roundup. For the last six months, I've shown you these before on, on these videos, but it's pretty stark just to show you what is happening on my channel right now. You can see September through to December, I'm bouncing around between 268 and $286 per month. I removed all of my videos that don't fit my niche, the videos that I don't feel are helping the channel in October. October, and it didn't really seem to make that much of a dent in my revenue. I might have earned more money than that, but it didn't make the revenue go down. Then after December, we had that big drop after Christmas, which was kind of expected. And then the biggest self-inflicted experiments. When I unlisted those top five videos, the revenue has, has really, really plummeted. You can see just how big a drop that is. But I am in the process of filling up this channel with the videos that I really want to put out into the world. I didn't really come onto YouTube to show people how to change the battery on their vacuum cleaner. And I did really well with those kind of videos, but it's not where I want the channel to go. I feel very comfortable in having nearly half the money. <laughs> I really need the money as well. I'm playing a long-term game. And the long-term game's this, that at least my videos all link together now. I mean, look at my top earning videos for the lifetime of the channel. That Zoom video is my number one video. Just trying to encourage more people to put more things on YouTube. The next four videos don't quite fit into that category. I guess the mobile phone video sort of does, but the, those next two are, are, are garden tools videos. <laughs> so I, I'm really, really glad that I've removed them. The statistics that I get are so much clearer now. The overall year so far on 2021 and so far my average CTR my click-through rate is 5.1 percent my average view duration so far is 2 minutes 43 I've got 341 subscribers I really really want to get to the 10,000 subscriber mark just to unlock the facilities that you get at 10k subscribers just so that I can make videos about experimenting with those but 10,000 subscribers at the rate I'm going will take me another probably two or three years so I'm hoping that one of my videos might take off or, or maybe a few videos so that my growth becomes a, a bit more sustained and I think this is a really good sign this is so buried in the statistics my my biggest most optimistic sign that I've, I've had and that's my average views per viewer is now 1.3 I have never seen it at 1.3 before it's the average number of times that the viewer watched any video on my channel so 1.3 is a sign of, of growth and a sign that I'm managing to get more viewers to come back to my channel. And my AdSense revenue for the year so far is $334 on a uh, revenue per melee, that's revenue per thousand views of $6. So I get about $6.30 for every thousand views. The highest I've had this year is $9. Man, that would be so good if it's <laughs> if I could get it up to that. I'm having lots more videos like this on my channel. You've probably noticed it if you're a subscriber. If you're not, why not be awesome and try and take me one step closer to that 10K subs. And right here is why you might want to niche your YouTube channel.